This is Twit. Yeah, so as it turns out, uh, Harman Kardon, uh, which is, by the way, part of the Samsung galaxy of companies. They, they acquired um, them last year. Yeah. Yep. Is going to make smart speakers based on uh, and on Google Assistant as well. Oh. So they're not Cortana exclusive. They're going to do everybody yeah. except Siri. Yeah, and ex actually except Bixby, although one Bixby might expect that to Bixby is not a change. standalone. Uh, if you, yeah. Bixby's designed to work with a Samsung phone. Most of Bixby's skills come in interacting with the apps on the phone. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. I don't think you'll ever see Bixby as a standalone. Samsung, though, that doesn't mean Samsung won't be a player in this because they remember yeah. they bought the guys, uh, companies, uh, who the guys who did Siri started a company called, I think it was Viv. That sounds right. And Viv.ai, yeah. and Samsung bought that. And, uh, so, yeah. and they've always had S Voice. So I'm not sure right. Samsung's out of this right. game, especially since they own hard. Well, I think having hard. mobile is a big chunk of it. So right. actually, they're probably in pretty good shape. People use their smartphones around the house, et cetera, et cetera. So right. Right. Mm. we shall see. But I thought that was kind of interesting. And so, you know, there was a lot of question about, hey, how come Harman Kardon wasn't talking up or Microsoft wasn't talking up Cortana at the show? Although That's I guess why. they might have had one speaker on the show floor or something. Yeah. Well, they did make announcements at the show. They just didn't make them about Cortana. <laughs> so... <laughs> Great. So do you think do you think Harman Kardon's been canceled? I don't think so. Do you? No, I don't think so. In fact, for, I mean um, the, for the, the one the one with Cortana, I mean. Right. And no, because yeah. um I, I wasn't at the show obviously, but someone who was said that um it was on the show floor. So they're still showing okay. it. Okay. So uh, well, uh, so you're not saying that this one is uh that there will be a Cortana exclusive device. That's right. And then there'll That's be right. other devices that use other assistants. Although it kind of begs the question, you know, why not just have the same device and Do all switch them. between them or, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I actually think that'd be kind of cool. Oh. But anyway, it's a good looking speaker. You know, the Invoke, which yeah. is the Cortana speaker, is a good looking speaker. Um, the issue isn't so much the looks of the thing. The issue is that there are so many of these things happening. And frankly, they're all being based around uh, and around uh, the Google Assistant. And, you know, one of the other notes I have is, there's a, there was a Sony announcement about a smart speaker. That, of course, it's a Sony product, so it has a terrible name. But it looks a lot like the Apple device that's coming out in December. It's coming out a month or two earlier. It looks like it has the same awesome positional audio capabilities, multi-speaker capabilities, directional microphones, and yada, yada, yada. And it's less expensive. And, of course, it runs on the Google Assistant. Um, so, you know, this is heating up all of a sudden. Um, you could have made the case even just a few months ago like with Google, um, you know, we can complain about Microsoft because that's what we do. But on the Google side, you know, where are all the Google powered smart speakers? Well, guess what? They just announced, I think, seven or eight of them at the show. So that stuff is happening. And if you have a house full of um, Google equipment, which isn't that expensive, frankly, because Chromecast audio and video, there's a Chromecast uh, Ultra that does 4K video. There's a Google Assistant that does, I'm sorry, Google Home that does Google Assistant. And then soon there'll be six or eight or whatever it is. Uh, third-party devices as well. And these things all integrate together. You can do whole house audio with them. You can do all kinds of things. And so um, this is all kind of happening. And over at Microsoft, you know, I, do, do we have the Benny Hill theme song we could play? It's like <laughs> you're waiting for this thing to, you know, churn yeah. up at any time. Like, guys, seriously, like how much time do you think you have here? Yeah. If it, yeah. And I actually think it's going to come. To, I, I don't know if Google's going to be, a, I mean, they ought to be a player in this. But I think it feels like Amazon owns the... Uh, Maybe it's just yeah. for me. I have a Google Home and I never use it. I use the Echo all yeah. the time. Partly right. because Echo has a broader choice of music. Uh, uh, it has my books, which is a big yeah. one because Amazon owns Audible. And mm. I can shop with it. Uh, Google's good so, for asking questions, but I, I don't... Right. Here's the thing that's interesting to me about these devices, at least right now. And, and, and actually, if anything, this Microsoft deal with Amazon makes this even truer which is that unlike with smartphone platforms, unlike with PC platforms before them, these things aren't necessarily all that sticky, right? If you have um, like smart controls around your house or smart speakers or whatever, unless you go the Apple route, the chances are actually pretty good that you could switch back and forth between different devices. Actually, that would be true of Apple too. So in other words, I have like Philips Hue lights in my house somewhere. So I can control them with HomeKit on the Apple devices. I can control them through obviously the Philips apps on my phone. I can control them through uh, Google Home, through Amazon. You know, I, these things like work with everything. And so it, it's almost like the, maybe the central thing that I think Bezos and uh, Satya Nadella got right is that 
for the user, it's not necessarily about that one assistant. It's about the capabilities. And if they can all do that stuff, you know, you mentioned uh, audiobooks and music and whatever else it is that people might want to do. If that stuff works everywhere, it makes it easier to switch back and forth if you have to or want to. It makes it easier to mix and match if you just want to. I already have an, a, a, a Google, I'm sorry, an Amazon Echo somewhere in my house maybe. Uh, next time I'm going to buy the Sony thing that runs on the Google Assistant. And when Apple's thing comes up, maybe I put one of those up in the bedroom. And it kind of doesn't matter because they can be where they are and do what they do. And there's a lot of overlap. You know, capability-wise. Yeah, that's what Bezos Maybe. said, right? Bezos I think said so. Yeah, I all. think that's... Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm.